Okay, let's talk about the collision theory. Now, the collision theory says that in order for a reaction to take place, particles need to collide. They need to come together. And when they're colliding, they need to collide with proper orientation. So, which means that the more collisions we have, the faster the reaction is going to be because if we have more collisions means that the likelihood of the collisions being in the correct orientation is greater so faster the reaction and a reaction only takes place when the particles collide with a certain amount of energy so this, that energy, that minimum energy is called the activation energy so the two things that need to to um, occur for a reaction to take place. First, it should be a collision with orientation, with correct orientation. And second, it should be colliding with enough energy. So the energy of the particle should be greater or equal to the activation energy, which is the minimum amount of energy required for a reaction to take place. Now, the more energy you give, the more uh, there's going to be the likelihood of that condition to occur. And the more um, collisions you allow to happen, the more this condition is going to occur. Now, for this unit, we're going to be looking at the factors that will affect the uh, rate of a reaction or in other words will affect the collision collision successful let's say successful collision because for a reaction to take place you need to have successful collisions so we're going to be looking at the effect of temperature concentration particle size and catalyst on rate of a reaction now let's look at temperature first now temperature measures kinetic energy of a system so the higher the temperature the more kinetic energy there is now if we have particles with high amount of energy which mean this means that the chance of the energy to be equal to or greater than activation energy is more so there's going to be more successful collisions and if we have more successful collision it means that the rate of the reaction is going to be more so rate is faster so higher temperature implies faster rate of reaction so as you can see here here this shows low temperature so they are colliding but they are not reacting because the particles do not have enough energy so energy here is less than activation energy but here at higher temperature they are colliding and this collision is successful so we have products being formed so here the energy is either equal to activation energy or energy is greater than activation energy okay so when temperature increases there's two reasons for which it increases rate so the kinetic energy of particles increases so reactant particles move faster and collide more often so there's more collisions so the frequency of collisions increases so this bring this goes back to the first factor collisions so we have more collisions therefore there's more successful collision in proper orientation and also the particles collide with sufficient energy to overcome activation energy so this is the second factor where energy is greater or equal to activation energy so as you can see the two factors are contributing for reaction to be faster